We moved our two spotted eagle rays onto exhibit. They've been in quarantine out at our animal care facility. The biggest thing is really just the animal's comfort and water quality. So we wanted to move one at a time to not stress them out. So we went, just grabbed one, brought it here, got them acclimating, and then went and got the female. The biggest things that we are concerned about are making sure that their water quality is good, just making sure they have enough water volume and monitoring parameters and things, and then also keeping oxygen up. They're actually a super cool species. They're transoceanic, so they're found anywhere tropical across the globe. They usually move and migrate in really big schools, so you'll usually see videos of like thousands of them migrating up the coasts. And they're also part of the same family of the manta rays are in. So the eagle ray family, you'll notice, has a more like pointed wingtip and a deeper body nose. So that's more for like being pelagic out in the open ocean. But they are in their own family. So they're a pretty distinct group of animals to what we currently have. We got their disc width, which is their wingtip to wingtip, essentially. And then their total length, which is nose to the tip of their tail. And then we also got a weight on both of them. And that's just to monitor their growth. So since they've been with us about four or five months or so, We've done that three times and noticed a steady increase in growth each time. Um, and that's just what we want to see, especially in their age bracket. We want to notice like a steady growth. That just means we're feeding them properly, that they're growing as they should.